Hello, Miles Maeda here with more Modern Yoga Movement videos for you. In this series, we are doing handstand or arm balancing drills. And in this sequence, we are going to be using a yoga belt or strap. And we're gonna focus in our warm-ups on shoulder mobility. We're gonna start using our strap. I have a fairly long strap. It is a 10 foot long strap. And ideally you want to do this exercise with a big, uh, with a longer strap. So the first thing is to make a loop out of your strap. And the reason why we're doing this is because we want to place the arms, the hands, so they're on the insides of the loop and we want to be able to bring the arms all the way back behind us. So, and we want it to be comfortable so we're not straining the shoulders at all. And for a lot of people, a short strap, it's difficult to do this. So with a long strap, you should be able to place your hands inside the loop and be able to bring your arms all the way back behind you comfortably. So you wanna find the diameter of the strap, the loop, so that it feels comfortable for your shoulders. Now, if you don't have a long strap, you can just not use the buckle and grab onto the strap so that you feel comfortable reaching your arms all the way behind you, okay? So hold on to your strap. We're gonna start with the arms in front, strap on our lap. Do your best to keep your shoulders down, extend your elbows fully, and your hands are pressing outward. If your strap is in a loop or you're holding onto the strap and again, pulling outward so the strap is taut. And we inhale, we bring the strap up and we wanna just go to the place where it feels like we're going to go back behind us and then reverse and go back to the front. And we do that a few times. So we're opening the armpits and just bringing a little more mobility to the shoulders. So just going up the front and back down. Now let's inhale up, press the arms out to the sides and see if you can carefully and slowly bring the strap behind you. Now we're still pressing the hands out sideways. Let's inhale, come up and then to the front. You can do this three or four times all the way back. And if this feels difficult, then widen the strap or hold the strap a little further apart. So this should feel like we're creating some more space and more mobility in the shoulders. Now, keep, that, keep the arms extended, the right arm stays down and that left arm goes up. And again, we're stopping before we go all the way behind us and to the front, other side. So bring that strap around like we're going to make a circle and then come back to the front. So we're inhaling, keep both elbows extended and we're spreading the shoulders. Inhale and exhale. So now we're ready to go all the way around. We inhale, both arms down and then reverse. That right arm goes up and to the front. Let's do that again. So the left arm goes up, keep those elbows fully extended, and then the right arm goes up and around. And let's reverse. So the right arm goes up, keep that left hand down close to the floor, and then the right hand stays down close to the floor. And one more time around. Do your best to keep your elbows extended and to the front. All right, so that should feel like some nice opening for the shoulders. And we can put away our strap. All right, so let us integrate that information by doing a one leg downward dog. And again, if your hands are shoulder width apart, we wanna feel like we're spreading them out to the sides, but we're gonna keep the hands fixed where they are. So let's come onto the hands and knees. 
press the palms down, extend the elbows, spread your shoulders, and downward facing dog. All right, extend the right leg up behind you, ground the left heel, and spread your shoulders wide. Just long, deep breathing here, and we can switch sides. Spread the shoulders wide. Keep that right heel grounded. And let's do one more each side. Spreading the shoulders, raising the right leg up, and switch left leg up. Spread the shoulders. Engage your abdominals, hollow body. And then let's come down onto the hands and knees and you can rest in child's pose. Arms down alongside your feet. Breathing into the front ribs, the sides, even breathing into your back. Elbows release, shoulders release. Release the head and the neck. Now let's inhale, draw the legs together, and exhale, let's roll up. So for these drills, we are now going to have our back against the wall. So the tendency here is for us to arch the back when we're, doing, we're using the wall in this way. So it's very important to engage our myofascial core, to draw the navel towards the belly, and to feel that we are doing the hollow body position. So the wall, when we have our back to the wall, that provides us a little bit of security and safety. So if we fall backward or over the shoulders, then the wall is there to support us. So just know that your pelvis can touch the wall and support you, or your feet can touch the wall and support you. If you have good control over your core, you might be able to do a handstand and not touch the wall. But knowing the wall is there and feeling the security of it can help us, again, feel more confidence and more security doing our handstands. So we're gonna do three drills here. So the first one is a frog hop. We're going to have our hands close to the wall and we're gonna spread our feet wider than the hands and we're gonna hop up with bent knees. And this is a very easy uh, way to get into a handstand or inverted pose. Keeping the knees bent and keeping the legs low brings our center of gravity lower. So it feels a lot less scary to have the hips over the shoulders. And that's really uh, one of the key points of handstanding or arm balancing is getting the pelvis right over the shoulders. In an earlier, in one of the earlier videos, we talked about stacking the bones. So eventually you have your feet and your knees right over the pelvis. The pelvis is right over the shoulders and the shoulders are right over the wrists. So in this frog hop, we will be able to get the pelvis over the shoulders and see what that feels like with the knees bent and the legs lower to the floor. So our center of gravity is lower. You can have your hands a foot to six inches away from the wall. So just whatever feels comfortable for you. Your hands are shoulder width apart. We're gonna spread the shoulders wide and you're gonna tuck your tail under, lift your belly, and then lift your knees off the floor and walk your feet close to your hand and wider than your hands. Bend the knees. So the frog hop is coming up, springing with your legs and get sending the pelvis over the shoulders, okay? So you wanna bend your knees and hop up, but keep your knees bent and then just touch the wall with your toes, come away from the wall and come back down. So we'll just do that three times. Spread your shoulders, press your palms into the floor, extend your elbows. Again, curl the tail under, lift the belly, so hollow body and hop up. So here the tendency is to arch the back. So try to just press away from the wall and feel the hollow body. Let's do that one more time. So just do your best to hop up, spread the shoulders wide, draw the navel in towards the spine. Maybe you can balance 
maybe you won't need to touch the wall. All right, and just come and take a rest. So that drill is a little bit easier. It's not as strenuous because we're not spending as much time upside down, but doing those previous drills should help you feel like you have a little more stability in your shoulders and your wrists, a little more strength in the arms and a little more engagement with the hollow body position. Next, we're going to do a similar hop up, but we want to come up in a straddle. For this, your pelvis or your sacrum, your tail, will touch the wall, and then your legs will come up as well. So I'm gonna adjust my mat so I have a little bit more of the wall to work with here. So I'm gonna be in a different position. My back will be towards you. So we want to be close to the wall. Again, a foot to six inches. Legs spread wide. So press the hands down, extend the elbows, spread the shoulders. And you're gonna hop up, straddle the legs, fully extend the knees. You're gonna touch the wall and then bring your legs back down. Again, just do this three or four times. Spread your shoulders, hop up, and just do your best to get all the way up. The goal is to get the pelvis over the shoulders. It's okay if they don't make it, but just keep trying, do one more time. And on this one, maybe you can pop up, fully extend the legs, and bring your legs together hollow body, come back down in the straddle position, and rest. <laughs> All right. Just be aware, again, back to the wall encourages our back to arch. So this is really a, an effective way to practice when you know how to do the hollow body and you're making an effort to engage the front of the body in these drills. Okay, last drill, we're gonna use our other wall. So you need a lot of wall space to do the straddle position. And here we're going to utilize our one leg downward dog practice to help us come up again back against the wall, still engaged in our hollow body. And the idea is to get the pelvis over the shoulders and to see if we can come up slowly. So one leg is going to come up first and then the second leg is slowly going to follow, bringing the legs together. These, it helps to have the hands closer to the wall here so I've said a foot to six inches previously, but it does help to have your hands a little bit closer. So maybe six inches or closer. And we start in our downward dog. And let's step one foot halfway forward. So the foot is between the back foot and the front hands. Press your palms down, spread your fingers, extend the elbows, spread your shoulders engage your abdominals. Now we're going to lift the back leg up, spring off the front leg, send the pelvis over the shoulders. Try to get the pelvis over the shoulders first, then get the leg up. And we only want to get one leg up first, then the second leg up slowly. All right. So extend that back leg. Jump off of the front leg, come up shoulder over the pelvis, <laughs> pelvis over the shoulders, hollow body. And let's come back down slowly. All right, let's try that with the other leg. Spread the shoulders, engage the belly. And we're gonna hop off the front leg, slowly get the left leg up and pelvis over the shoulders. So hop up, control the movement, get that second leg up slowly, hollow body, 
look between your hands and slowly come down. All right, take a rest. So you can do that last drill three or four times on each side. And again, it is easy to arch the back. So it's not my favorite way to practice handstands, but the wall does give you a sense of safety and security. And you can feel that you could practice being in the handstand and slowly do this without the security of the wall. And that completes the sequence.